Hey everyone, check out this interesting exchange between Michael Knowles and someone from the audience uh, asking questions about uh, Zionism and Israel and the whole situation going on in the Middle East. Look at, watch, watch how this unfolds. Uh, hello, uh, thank you for coming, Michael. So uh, conservatives are against the ideology of political correctness and social justice, which is the ideology that says that white people should hate their culture and that Asians and whites should be treated worse than blacks and Hispanics. So that same ideology said it was okay for Zionists to, to throw Palestinians off their homeland and deny Palestinians the right to live in their homeland. Uh, so, I don't know if it was the same ideology. It was, uh, probably, it was the ideology of Zionism, is what you're saying. Uh, it's the Which is different that's than the reason why the whole, That's the reason why the whole world supported it. Um, they condemned apartheid South Africa because it was white people doing it. Uh, but they don't condemn it when it's Jews doing it because they're considered more oppressed. Everybody condemns Israel. What are you talking about? Everybody, we're like the only no, country in the world no. that doesn't condemn Israel. We give them more money than any other country in the right, world. We do, but I'm saying uh, yes. Most and other countries, other countries, the West, other or, countries do too. But we sanction apartheid South Africa because it's white people doing it. The Jews are pretty white. I mean, some of them are a little dusky, but some, but some are pretty white. So, what, but what is your question? Are, are yes, you saying I, that Zionism oh. is the same thing as political yes, correctness? Yes, uh, Yes, I believe that conservatives shouldn't support Israel because it's the well, I, I same know what you ideology. Believe. I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out what your question it, is. Because it's the same ideology uh, as political correctness that says that uh, white people should hate their culture and that uh, uh, white people and Asians should be treated worse. Uh, yeah. It's denying a, an indigenous population the right to live in their homeland. Imagine if there was, if people took it a step further and said that uh, Native Americans and black people should throw white people out of their homeland because of political correctness. The reason, Wait, hold on. The, the hold reason, on. At first you said that Zionism denies the indigenous people the right to their homeland. Because so of, in that, in that, because in that of instance, the Holocaust. The, but, but in, in, your, in the first thing you said, the Palestinian Arabs would be the indigenous people who now have the right to throw the occupying Jews out of what is the Palestinian Arabs' homeland. I but then you changed people, it. I support a state uh, Hold on one second. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make I some sense of what violence. you're saying. I'm, try, I'm trying to just make some sense of the things you're saying. Because then the second part, you said, imagine if the Lakota Sioux, say, tried to throw the white Americans out of America because it was their indigenous homeland. But that, that is the argument you're advocating, actually, no, right? No, by opposing no, no. Uh, no, by opposing Zionism ideology, on indigenous uh, no, groups, that's what the you're same saying, what, what the, I'm saying is that people can do different things based on how oppressed they are. If white people did what the Jews did uh, in 1948, they would be condemned by, uh, by a long shot. You're saying, you're saying if white people went into some land that they hadn't been in in a long time? Uh, if white yeah. people went to a country and but, threw out a population, they well, would we, be condemned. We've, we've done that, haven't that we? Was, that was, <laughs> I mean, we try to be nice to the people, but, you know, that's happened. Wars of that, conquest happened. 1948 was different than the 1600s. H how so? Well, 1600s, it was okay to conquer other countries. In what, 19, what, what changed about practical morality? 19, in, the 19, in the 1940s, uh, there was the UN. It made clear that conquering other countries were uh, not acceptable. But, but how did that reason, change the moral the law? Reason, just because the UN said so? The only so reason, if I say so, can I change the, the moral law? The only reason that people supported Israel was because of the Holocaust. Okay, you know, you, you keep like speaking quickly and changing all the, all the top. It should be noted, by the way, that he, he brings up the UN and the, the current state of Israel was voted in by the UN. But let's continue. And no, my you. I'm trying to figure consistent. out what you. I'm trying to figure out what you're asking because mm. a lot of people have questions about Zionism and Israel. That was what our whole speech was about. Was about holy war, not just in uh, uh. with the Jews and the Muslims, but with Christians as well. My question. So, is, what's as, the question? My question is: As a conservative that believes that all people should be judged equally, uh, why do you support Israel and condemn? And why do you support Israel when you're against political correctness and social justice? Well, because I don't see why I shouldn't, as a practical matter, support Israel. You bring up uh, the, the notion of Zionism, and Zionism has a religious aspect and a historical aspect. The historical aspect is exactly the kind of argument you're making about the Native American Indians, that uh, because the Jews lived in this land a long time ago, they, they have a right to it now. But I don't really buy indigenous arguments. I don't buy it for the Lakota Sioux. I don't really buy it for anybody. Um, however, I pointed out in my speech, if you were in favor of the Palestinian Arabs having a state, you probably wouldn't want to make the indigenous arguments because Palestinian Arabs are not indigenous to the land by any stretch. They invaded in the seventh century uh, and, and conquered many lands that were actually controlled by Christians. 
Uh, so that, I don't think that argument works. Then there's a religious argument to Zionism, which says that uh, the Jews have a right from God to this land. And as a Christian, one's view of uh, what is meant by Israel and what is, what is meant by the Holy Land and the fulfillment of the old law and all the rest of it uh, would, would impel a Christian not to totally agree with that point of view. So I'm not saying that I agree in principle with, with either of those arguments. But as a practical matter, it just seems to me that uh, the state of Israel is doing pretty good stuff with the land. And so what I really care about from the perspective of the Holy Land is that the holy sites are protected, that Christians are permitted to go on pilgrimage there. And when I look at the alternative, which is a bunch of Palestinian Arabs who elected Hamas, and I look at the history of Christian-Muslim relations, which has basically been a 1,400-year unimpeded story of, of Muslims trying to invade all of Western Christendom and desecrate our churches and abuse our relics and so on and so forth, then I'm not really inclined to create yet another particularly radical Muslim nation, particularly with, with uh, authority over the holy sites. So you can call it Zionism. I wouldn't call it Zionism. I just call it a kind of practical and prudential support for the state of Israel, given the alternative. And then you make this claim that uh, political correctness is identical with Zionism. I mean, it just isn't. I don't know what to say. Zionism is a philosophy that came out of the 19th century that made all these claims about the Jews' rights to the Holy Land. Political correctness is a liberal ideology that emerges in the 20th century, which we now call wokeness or whatever, uh, which has all sorts of influences from uh, the Western Marxist tradition to the, uh, I don't know, the, the deconstructionists and the post-structuralists and all sorts of kind of postmodern uh, academic theories. And uh, it's nasty and silly and wrong, but I don't, I don't really see the connection between the two things. And uh, just as a practical matter, I'm yet to be convinced that handing over the, the holy sepulcher to a bunch of fanatical Islamists would be a good idea. I don't think it was a good idea in the 11th century or the 12th century or the 13th century, and I don't think that it's a good idea in the 21st. The interesting line of thought in Michael Knowles' reasoning over here is that even if you don't fall into the same category as those who accept the historical or indigenous perspective as to the Jews' uh, claim to the Holy Land or the religious aspects of the Jews' claim to the Holy Land, as is traditionally argued, uh, even if you don't agree with any of that, even if you're not in line, it still makes it still is worthwhile from a practical purpose to support Israel, being that it's the only uh, free land in the in the entire Middle East, and that the alternative is much worse, and that if Christians want access to their holy sites, and if women and LGBTQ and other minorities want a place where they can go in the Middle East that has rights that are available to them in the same way that they are in the United States, the only place to do such a thing is in the current land of Israel. And so the alternative, even if you, again, even if you don't agree with the traditional arguments and, and uh, perspectives that the claim to Israel is argued upon, even, if, even still, you can still support Israel from a practical standpoint.